Alright, I'm going to open Google Chrome because that's what I like to use. Do a Google search for CC Cleaner. We've got what? WOT installed, so it lets us know if we're in a good site or not. Download.cnet.com. It's a good site. I trust them. So we're going to get it from there. Download now. If your download doesn't start right away, go ahead and click here now. Google Chrome would ask you to save. One minute to download. Download's kind of slow. Alright, when the download's done, hopefully you know where your downloads are saved. Uh, click the file to open it. Choose Run. You can close your browser if you haven't done so. Uh, choose your language. Click OK. Click Next. Accept the agreement. I agree. Leave this as it is. Click Next. Okay, I want a desktop shortcut. I don't need Start Menu. You can turn these on or off after you install it. Automatically check for updates. Man, it slows your computer down so much, but if you've got a fast internet connection and you're not doing a lot with your computer, go ahead and leave it on. And I don't want the Yahoo toolbar. That's up to you whether you want that or not. If you don't want the Yahoo toolbar, then uncheck it. And click install. And go ahead and run the cleaner. Finish. Okay, it automatically goes to Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer, the system. Advanced. You want temporary internet files, cookies, your history. Recently typed URLs, which are these right here, the ones you've typed recently. Um, let's see. See, it comes up with the ones you've typed recently. These will be gone if you use that setting. Um, last down location, this stuff can all go. We'll leave all this stuff checked. Your DNS cache, that will speed your router up if your router gets bogged down. old prefetch data you don't need and this one will take a really long time but it'll wipe the free space on your hard drive because um, what that does when you delete something it never really gets deleted until you wipe that free space I'm going to click analyze also up here it shows you your Windows operating system your uh, CPU, mine's Athlon 64, dual core, 4400. I've only got 2 gigs of RAM. And it lists your video card, GeForce 9500 GT. My system should run pretty good. I need more memory. Analyze complete. There's 91,000 megabytes of data to be deleted. And once the analyzation's done, it run cleaner. Permanently delete the files from your system. Click OK. And let that run and your system is a lot cleaner. All these files are gone. Alright, it's done. Removed. Now we click over to the registry and let it search for all this. Scan for issues. Okay, once it's done, click Fix Selected Issues. It'll ask you if you want to create a backup, and definitely if you're going to change the registry, create a backup. Yes. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to CC Cleaner. And today's date. Then I know the date I created it. Save it in my documents. And then fix all selected issues. And after you restart, if you have a problem, you can run the uh, registry backup. Okay, so if you want to restore your registry, if you start up and it's not running right, you go to your documents. Look for the one we created, CC Cleaner 61110. Just double click on that, and it'll warn you that you're about to make changes to your registry, but this is a good change because it's taking you back to where you were.
So you click yes and that will take your registry back. Now under tools, you've got to uninstall. It will let you uninstall programs that you've got. Run the uninstaller. It will uninstall that program. Under startup, it lets you decide what you want to start with your computer. So like I've got Nero running. Um, I don't want that to run automatically only when I need it to, so I'm going to disable that. Now it's set to no. Avast, I want to run with my computer because that's uh, my antivirus. Sidebar, Roboform, Credimail, Messenger. I don't need Microsoft Office update to run, so I'm going to disable that. Okay, I can't do it. Uh, system Restore. So you can remove all the restore points you don't need. Your computer's running good. You don't need to save all these restore points. Okay, go to Options, Advanced. You can show the initial results. Only delete Windows files that are older than 24 hours. That's good. You can hide the warning messages. Close program after cleaning. Uh, minimize the system tray. You can choose which folders to exclude or include. Choose which cookies to keep, which are already gone now. You can choose whether you want CC Cleaner to run every time the computer starts. And here you can turn on and off your recycle bin stuff. And then there's your automatically check for updates. Uh, secure file deletion, it overwrites. Instead of just deleting the files, it overwrites and wipes your free space. It takes a lot longer. I guess that's about it. Enjoy the program. Thanks for watching.